in all of the earlier videos, when I ask you to find out the equation of a straight line, so uh, we would we would then jump to something like this: y equals mx plus c. Now uh, m, we would then we would then work out the, the gradient of the line. But when it comes to c, in all of the early videos, c always crosses neatly somewhere like, like exactly on five. Or, or, or exactly minus three, or exactly uh, six m minus six. It always crosses neatly when it comes to the C. Or what happens when, 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 when you have something like this? This here is in between one and two. It's not dead on two. It's not exactly on two. So, um, so here, so how would you do it here? You see, th there's a trick to this. So, so uh, in, in this video, I, I will show you how to find out. An, uh, an equation of a straight line when when c doesn't pass neatly through uh, through the y-axis. Okay, so hang on. So again, start by uh, by writing the formula for for a straight line. Y equals m x plus c. So so your first task is to find out the uh, the gradient, the the m. So with, with the gradient, find find any uh, any triangle. So we're just going to use this one here, and it's always the height. So the, this here would be one, and the uh, the width would be uh, would be four, okay. And it's always the height divided by the uh, the width. Always the height divided by divided by the width. And um, and here it's um, is a positive gradient. It's going uphill. So so the the gradient is a positive one over four, okay. So uh, so m is is one over four. So now we we can put it in here. Y equals um, one over four uh, x because uh, this is m here. Okay, uh, x plus uh, plus c. Now the hard part is uh, is finding out the c. So um, let's let's tidy this up. Uh, y x gets multiplied to the top uh, over four uh, plus plus c. Now. Here's a trick. This is just a trick in order to find out C. Now, um, if you pick any point on the line, any point, let's, uh, let's say, uh, this one here. Okay. You could pick any point. Uh, well, but, but you must know it must lie dead on the line. Okay. So, um, let's, let's say you pick this point here. So X here is nine. Y here is, is four for this point. Okay. So, so we are picking one point. On the line, it can be any point. So I'm picking this one at random. So now this is your your x. So let's put this into into the x. Okay. Now uh, y y is four. Well, at, at this point here, y is four. So let's put this into the uh, into the y. So it will be uh, four goes into the y. So it will be four equals. Uh, four equals now nine. Put the nine into the x, okay, over four, and then and then you uh, you would plus c, okay. So so basically all we've done is uh, we we selected a point on. Uh, well, once we've got the the gradient, then select one point on the line, and then and then the x is uh, nine. Put it put the nine into the x. Well, well, put the four into the into the y, and then you would come to this this stage here. Now it's just a matter of finding out C. So um, so now you've got uh, you've got this block equals this block plus this block here. So you want to get you want to work out C. So so minus this block from both sides. So take the four down, okay, and then minus minus uh, minus this block from both sides, uh, and then that would equal C. Okay. So so when you're here, what you've done is you take away this block from both sides. So on this side, you're, you're left with C. Okay. So now it's just a matter of getting four, take away, uh, take away nine over four. So, so turn this, this into a fraction. So this will be four over, uh, one minus nine over four equals C. We want to find C. So C, C is the interceptor, uh, intercept, sorry. Um, so here times top and bottom here by, uh, by four, just to get the two denominators to be the same. So this here would be 16. This here would be 4. And then minus, well, now, now you can see. So, so, so this fraction here is the same as this fraction. This fraction is the same as this fraction. Well, it's just written differently. Okay. Uh, but, but 4, 4 over 4, uh, so, sorry, 16 over 4 is actually 
it is actually this number. It's just been written differently. Okay. Now, 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 now that the two denominators are the same, you can merge them. So uh, this will be 4. So now 16 take away 9. So that will be 7 equals C. Okay. So, so C is 7 over 4. So now that we know C, let's go back to the... Uh, so so uh, th th this is a point that we got up to. But we didn't know C back then. Now that we know C, we can put it into C. So the equation for the line is Y equals um, X over 4. Uh, what's C? C is uh, 7 over 4, so plus uh, 7 over 4. Okay, um, and 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 if 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 you um if you look at this if you look at this line here, um, it, 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 the intercept lies between one and and two. So if, so so don't forget this is the intercept here. So if we get a calculator out, hang on, uh, calculator. Now, now, if, if we get 7 divided by 4, which represents the intercept, uh, 7 divided by 4 equals 1, 1 point, so C is 1 point, uh, 1.75. So this point here is actually 1.75. If, if, but, but leave it as a fraction because, well, it's just neater. So now the two denominators are the same. We can merge. So it becomes X plus 7 over 4. So this is the equation for, for this line here. You see, once we have the equation, we can, we can extrapolate. Um, re remember the word extrapolate? Write it down somewhere. Extrapolate. Uh, Write it down somewhere. Uh, it's an important word. It means going beyond your current situation. So, so our current situation is, is just around this area here. If we want to know what what x is when, what y is when x is, let's say, when x is, uh, let's say 185. Well, from, from, from here, we, uh, well, we, on our graph, we don't, well, x only goes up to 11. We could extrapolate it to x, uh, x uh, equals 185. So that's miles to the right. So, so, well, we, we, if you want to know what y is, y, so if you want to know what y is when x is uh, 185, then just put 185 into this uh, this equation here. Put it into the x, and then and work out all of this, and then it will give you y. Okay. In the next video, um, uh, you 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 can um you can have a go for yourself. Okay.